Let's talk about how to secure your WordPress website. There are several potential risks to be aware of. One of the biggest concerns is hackers because WordPress is so popular, it attracts the attention of nefarious actors who attempt to exploit vulnerabilities like outdated plugins or core files to gain unauthorized access to your site. They can deploy methods such as backdoors, launching brute force attacks, pharma attacks, denial of service attacks, or cross-site scripting. If left unresolved, there can be serious consequences such as malware, forwarding your website to a completely different one, adding content you're unaware of, Google warnings that can hurt your position in the SERPs, or worse, being unable to log in to your own website. First and foremost, you wanna make sure you have a solid website host. We've talked about different options before, including SiteGround for beginners and Cloudways for those who are more tech savvy. Both options will hook you up with all the tools you need to keep your website safe and secure. That includes an SSL certificate, web application firewall, SFTP access, DDoS protection, and even malware protection. We'll leave a link to both of those hosts in the description below. Just know that we may earn a commission if you use our links, which help support our team and all of our ad-free videos. Another easy thing you can do to boost your WordPress security is to lock down your login credentials. This can be done in several ways, including using a plugin to change the login URL from slash WP admin or slash WP login to something of your own choosing. You can also add two-factor authentication to your login and limit login attempts, which will help repel bots. Another way to protect your login is by linking it to your Google account using the Google Apps login for WordPress plugin. Once your login is locked down, you should whitelist your user's IP addresses. This will ensure that only registered users can get in, even if they have managed to figure out your password. Another very useful thing you can do is to install a good security plugin, such as iTheme Security. It'll allow you to add the two-factor authentication, limit the login attempts, schedule backups, and even hide your WordPress login. In addition to a WordPress security plugin, consider installing a good backup plugin like Updraft Plus if your host doesn't offer backups. A backup plugin protects you from losing your site's files, helping you to avoid rebuilding WordPress from scratch. You could easily restore your site with little effort if something goes wrong. Finally, incorporating an activity log plugin like WP Activity Log will allow you to pinpoint what went wrong and when. Quick reminder, I'm gonna leave a link to everything I'm mentioning in the description below. So if you're lost or you wanna find what I just talked about, go ahead and check out the description. WordPress requires three things to work correctly. PHP, MySQL, and HTTPS support. PHP or Hypertext Preprocessor is a popular open source scripting language used in web development and uh, it just so happens to be the backbone of WordPress. And like WordPress, being open source leaves it open for malicious actors looking to take advantage. To avoid these potential issues, it's best to keep PHP updated. Not only does it help with WordPress security, but it also keeps your site running optimally. It doesn't stop there though. Here are a few more quick tips. Use a strong password to avoid exposure to botnets. Keep WordPress up to date, this includes plugins and themes as well. Install an SSL certificate if your host didn't provide a free one. And finally, conduct a security audit occasionally. We have a blog post that we'll link in the description that help you run through how to do that. If you're feeling up to it, there are some advanced security techniques you can deploy. This includes hardening the wp-config.php file and moving it, changing the WordPress salt keys, changing file permissions, disabling XML RPC, and hiding your WordPress version. We recommend visiting our blog post in the description for an in-depth look at each of these techniques. Even if you do everything right, you may find yourself in a situation where your website has been hacked. Thankfully, there are steps you can take, including putting your site in recovery mode, restoring from your most recent backup, or resetting your passwords. If all else fails, your hosting provider may be able to help. Check out the description for links to relevant videos and blog posts, as well as everything we mentioned today. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more like it. With that said, we'll catch you in the next one.